How's the new band dynamic working out? Uh, I'm not so good. <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> I learn how not to bother anymore about anything. <laughs> <laughs> just like uh, chilling. Yeah, chilling. Chilling out and just relax, you know? And not bother for superficial things and like problems. Rehearsing. Like rehearsing. How's it been compared to the Australia shows? Just like um, not too different. Well, completely different, <laughs> except for when there are Australians in the crowd. And the landlord was upset, and if you didn't make the grass, oh, yeah, yeah, she like came around all cranky, like yelled at us, like, just, just, <laughs> like not even like nice. You're like, no, our shower pressure has been really bad. Like, <laughs> I don't give shower pressure. You make this grass green because like, but we were like, it's the middle of summer, and in the middle of summer is like. Middle of summer in LA or San Diego, it's like right. stinking hot and everything's brown on the grass. And it was brown when we moved in. I remember that. I she remember didn't even coming think home after it. work and Ke <laughs> Kevin's standing out the front watering the lawn. Like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, she came around again. <laughs> I did this song though. I did this song. Have a listen to so, it. So it was written while you're watering the grass, the run, so. running the lawn. Uh, I just remember stopping what I was doing and running inside to record it. That song's uh, about grass. He's talking, singing to the grass. Yeah. Come on, up. Come on, get <laughs> going. It was, it was actually originally, uh, feels like we're only growing backwards. <laughs> in that interview on YouTube, I saw some people were paying me out as well. What for? They said I wasn't genuine. They said Kevin was genuinely psychedelic and I wasn't psychedelic <laughs> enough. And I was trying to be psychedelic because I had a tight eyed shirt. Yeah, too. Hello, I'm Kevin and this is... I am Dom. Thanks, I am Dom. Yeah, we are Tame Impala. How many friends can we put into one Brazil? What? You got sent some email from a record label going, wow, you're awesome, quit your jobs, I'm going to make you famous, or something like that. Is that how true is that? That's pretty much exactly what it said. <laughs> so tell me about that. I was at work. I was, like, not working, just checking the band's mind. Working, working is what? Dom's an accountant, man. He's got an accounting degree. <laughs> he passed uni, man. That's, that's, that's proud. So the rest of you just dropkick musicians. Oh, we're smoking. <laughs> so then the, what the email come through, came through, what did it say? We want to make you big rock stars. We know how poor you are. Here's some money. Um, make us some money. That's what it said. No, uh, find some models for wives. <laughs> We're all kind of the best of friends, but touring, I kind of, you know, I get enough of these guys that I don't necessarily feel the need to hang out with them or speak to them every single day when we're not touring. Yeah, it's feelings like... mutual, Dom. Yeah, no, it's true. Kev's all right. We're, we're actually all hanging out, like, we just don't yeah. tell Dom. <laughs> I think I'd have to be Donatello. Donatello. I'd say you're Raphael. <laughs> Raphael! <laughs> he was the grumpy one. <laughs> <laughs> no one believed me, but I, I was always convinced I had ADD or ADHD, and I, I, I reckon I, I do. Elton John. Hello, how's it Tame Impala? How are you going? Hello, Hello. all of um, me, Andrew. <laughs> Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> what about the Monster Burger? Didn't you eat a Monster Burger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in um, in Brighton at South by Southwest last year. It was a pound of beef and a pound of chicken and then rasher bacon and half a pound of chips and I had to eat it all in less than 15 minutes and they got it for free. And I did, I was the first person to have ever done it. And they put my picture on the wall and the next day I thought someone was coming up to me and go like, hi, are you Cam from Pond? And this guy comes up and goes like, are you the burger guy? And I was like, <laughs> I became this local hero for like two days. As he was finishing it, there was all these like old English people in this random pub in, I can't remember what town it was, all standing around the booth, like cheering him on, you know? I think originally the song was meant to be really like, like a hard rock song, you know, like I just had the idea for the, cause I'm a man. You know, I kind of expected it in my head to be more kind of like, um, Aerosmith or like Motley Crue or something, like someone really, you know, like, Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello. 
Good. You came all the way from Australia just for the big live. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you were in the neighborhood, actually. As soon as it's finished, we go straight home. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Opa, 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 opa. Opa. <laughs> the the uh, Australia's ARIA Awards were uh, were handed out, and I don't know what's wrong with those people, but they nominate you guys for what was it six was it six categories or something like that? I think mm. it's, uh, it's not something we strive for to win <laughs> ARIA Awards. It's, so the, it's I, not at the like <laughs> end goal. <laughs> so so mm. look at his hair, man. <laughs> How could he possibly get annoyed? Sorry. Sorry, Kevin. Well, there you go. Is Perth people going to be able to look at this? I don't like playing in Perth. It freaks me out, man. It's weird. No, Perth people don't get the internet. Go on, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. It was just one girl working behind the bar. I remember Kevin was like, what song should we soundtrack with? I was like, let's do that one. Because I thought it was really sexy and she'd like, check me out. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It didn't work. I didn't really talk to her. But... For example, I was just walking to the ladies' room trying to release my bladder and then somehow found myself sitting here in an interview. <laughs> I didn't know that was happening. Surprise, surprise. The ladies' room? Yeah, because I couldn't find the men. <laughs> you know, there seems to be a mystery. I've seen a few men walk into the ladies' room around here. It's a, you know, very well signposted. Well, apparently that suits us. <laughs> you two were nominated, weren't they? This, we means, were, we, this yeah. means we yeah. beat you two at something. <laughs> Big deal. At something. <laughs> yeah. My prop, my endorsement. <laughs> but uh, a re a new, no, that wasn't the part of the first question, was it? No. That's the second question. My answer to the second question is... Uh, hey, come I like on. the fact that he's got a pass on. The dog's wearing a, a, like, a backstage pass. He's the coolest dog around, man, or she. Yeah, he's the lead singer of the next band yeah. on the stage. <laughs> the Hounds or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, we had the hund ein bisschen abgeführt. Er hat, er hat den Backstage Pass, der Hund. Das finde ich mir awesome. Und ähm, er ist der Lead Singer von der nächsten Band, wo wir jetzt The Hounds <laughs> tauft haben. Ganz cool. Uh, a legacy of Australian rock music. It's just, um, it's such a privilege to be you know, part of it. Oh, I don't know, I mean, rock album, yeah, rock and roll is great. Um... <laughs> it's all out there, rock, yeah. <laughs> I think these days there are a lot more people doing their own thing as there were in the past. Uh, like these days there are less um, rules. Uh, this is pretty sexy, isn't it? <laughs> A, a jam band and you guys pretty much epitomise just having fun and not kind of taking it too seriously. Was it weird when you went from just having fun and going, holy fuck, people are actually really enjoying us having fun? Uh, well, that's one interpretation of it. You're yeah. basically in the artist area. Yeah, well, having you know. Having too many interview requests that you, you're sort of having to knock it back and go, hey, there's yeah. only so much we can do. Oh, right. I, I don't know. That wasn't <laughs> even not, my not, job. Uh, you'd, <laughs> you'd be surprised so, how many, um, how, people, how you adjust, your brain adjusts to wherever you are very quickly. We got a uh, Buck, Buck Wakeman, Wakeman on the keys. Everyone. Go on, Buck. Stand up and show us your look. You can't even hear me. I'm talking to you, bro. Oh, he says no. Um, should we just go for it? I mean, actually, we'll, we'll go for it. I'm going to go to the toilet first. <laughs> it goes up the, the whole chord or the whole note you're playing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> In the... I mean... If you do it this tight, you don't have to pay me that $4 that you just wrote, I think. Okay, sure. Oh, I got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> My hands have forgotten how to play it now. Do you want to come press the start button for me? No. Right. I wasn't giving you shit. Right. I gave you shit when you bought it and said that's why nobody uses these guitars. <laughs> Jay's a sausage roller, Terry. I, I <laughs> ate lots of meat. Um, Everything Kevin rocks. What do you mean? Worst, worst fashion oh, trait okay. is um, obscenely large V-neck t-shirts. Some people have them like fully, fully past the sternum. Crime. Yeah, yeah. Heinous crime. crimes against fashion. That. Um, homeless. <laughs> Not spending as much time with this idiot. How was the Grammys experience? We didn't go. We were practicing in Sydney, I think, for Big Day Out or something. 
Were you tuned in? Were you like, oh my God, we might win? I forgot it was on. I was like, oh, shit. the Grammys were on. Did we win? Someone was like, uh, no, you know. <laughs> no, uh, Vampire Weekend got it, you know. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay, fair enough. Oh, I never really got tired of, do um, you want me to hold that? <laughs> yeah. I never really got tired of uh, people calling it retro music because I didn't really believe them in the first place anyway. Right. It was kind of like, you know, people can think what they want, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's definitely annoying though. You definitely got annoyed by it. Maybe. Yeah, I'm... Well, okay, I was devastated. <laughs> Do you want the party, Victor? This is... Favorite quote. Uh -huh. <laughs> You want to get a cut That wasn't over. supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Julian, you were in a band that has a song called Lady Pornography. A uh, Lady Pornograph. Yeah, what's that about? The Lady Pornographer. Oh, uh, whoa. That was Le Cube, your band Le Cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was years ago. I can't even remember what I was singing about. Probably some random chick I met in a party or something. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes se having sex and pills. But, uh, man, this is... Most popular live act. Why Why are you the most popular live act in the world? We are the most lively people in the world. Yeah, hey, you seem it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just because we played so many shows that we over overcame everyone else's memory of any other band. <laughs> just by pure force. So that's our local, man. Cooper's is our local. Oh, Cooper's fucking genius. Peroni would be from a place closer to Spain than Australia. And we like Spain. <laughs> what in particular do you like about Spain? Oh, just the people. Great people. Just the babes. Oh. Nah. Yes. <laughs> like Penelope Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> yes. One, I don't think she's that much of a babe. Two, is she even Spanish? She might be from somewhere near there, though. Yeah, yeah. Like Mediterranean. Like Mediterranean. Peroni, which is actually Italian. Yeah. <laughs> it's Italian. It's not even Spanish. Yeah, I said closer to Spain. Oh. <laughs> what? Hey, I forgot to thank heaps of people last time, but that's Kevin's job, so I've come trying to come up with some. But uh, I'd like to thank uh, Garth and Janelle and Vo and uh, Joey K and Al and everyone who does the like really hard administrative part of like putting records out. Check your hand out. Well, that's the other part. And, um, <laughs> and all the crew guys who set stuff up for us all day while we kind of like lounge around <laughs> eating soft cheese. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, Hand, uh, Matt Handley and Joe, the visuals, and Matt, Matthew Checker of Little Birdie fame. <laughs> and all those, all those dogs, yeah, you know? All the people that do the like stuff that we, that isn't creative. <laughs> well, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, Basically, we're the five least capable human beings in the room. Même si personne regarde en France, moi je voulais dire bonjour à tout le monde en France parce que c'est le c'est le milieu de la nuit. Bonne nuit à tous. You know, you know you've made it when you can get yourself a French drummer, <laughs> and he's going to meld it down into like a liquid silver to make some shoes for himself. Thank you. That the songs come from. You're spilling tea. You're spilling tea. tea. Oh, my lip. <laughs> my knees are hot. It's because there's a little chip in it and it kind of doesn't like keep it in there when I drink it. Do you remember those joke mugs from the 80s and they have a hole just where you're drinking, underneath where you're drinking, no. and it spills on you? They were funny. No, I wasn't around in the 80s, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't. This guy was born in 1990. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my MIDI keyboard is not working. I hate MIDI. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a loot. I'm gonna play with a loot next, Coach. <laughs> um, I don't want to. I don't want to block Kev either. <sighs> this is Tame Impala, and yeah, have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.